Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is about the Toy Lion exclusive eloquence. And remember that this is not meant for children under the age of 13 years old. And if the comments are set off, it's because YouTube did it, not me. So anyway, um, this video is about the Toy Lion exclusive eloquence of Mile Pony FIM. There aren't any for Gen 5, so I, I can't include that. Sorry. But this video sort of exists because I made a theory about the unnamed alicorns from Gen 4 and Gen 5, and someone brought up some toy lane alicorns I had never seen before. I said that kind of funny. And those weren't included because they're not canon, and yes, I know I mentioned Princess Skyla, but that's because she had a better chance of being canon because of the Furry Heart situation. That, okay, so that being said, let's talk about some of the oldest examples of Hasbro making alicorn toys characters that never actually um were in the series proper starting with princess gold lily she was a part of the brussable line and around the early 2010s i think it's about 2011 that these were out but i couldn't actually find a year when i looked it up that's just what i remember from being a child and seeing princess gold lily in stores she was released under two of the lines uh, Cutie Mark Magic and um, Rainbow Magic. She was packaged alongside Pinkie Pie, where the only difference between these two were the fact that uh, Gold Lily was packaged um, with a slightly different art style and under a different line each of those times. She used a Celestia base mold with a dark is yellow and pink, blue, and purple hair were her, like, main colors. Her personality has been likened to Pinkie Pie by the fandom. I think this is because it was on her box. I do not have a box as an example, unfortunately, so I don't actually know how true this is. Um, so don't quote me on that. I think, like I mentioned earlier, I have actually seen this one in stores, and god, did this confuse me when I was there a little. Because I was like, I thought it'd sew up in the sew, but then once he didn't, I was like... Why? So anyway, on that note, let's talk about another one that's associated with Goldily, which is Princess Sterling. She is another alicorn with a Celestia base that came packaged with a Fluttersife brussable, and she was in the Rainbow Magic and Q-Mark Magic lines, like Goldily was, and released about exactly the same time. Her appearance is a lightest purple color for her coat, and she has light blue, yellow, and pink in her mane, which is an interesting combination of colors, and I really like, I think this is pretty pretty actually. Um, her box art has one difference, instead of having a recolored Celestia, she's a recolored Luna base, which is just kind of random, I'm not gonna lie, um, but that's just, yeah. I guess Hasbro's being lazy cause with the marketing, because all they did was reuse molds and then reuse character designs, so yeah. And I know. But this is like a really fascinating topic. I have no idea. And this one I actually had no idea existed until someone told me about her. I never saw her in stores when I was younger, so I guess she's never available nearby where I live. Which is fine. But like, I kind of thought I would have known her. Anyway, let's move on to the baby pony that angered people for literal years for no reason. Princess Skyla. I mentioned her earlier. Coming back around to her. So Princess Skyla came out in 2012 as a part of the Baby Pony line. Obviously she's season alicorn. And her box illustration uses a Sweetie Belle base. Probably because Hasbro's being lazy again. Am I surprised? Not really. And out of all these um, toys that I've found out about with research and stuff, she had the most chance of becoming real of that to the so. She didn't, but she had the strongest chance considering Kane's and Signing Armor did have a baby and she's often attributed at, at the time of her release as being their potential child, so do with that what you will. On that note, does anyone remember the Twyla controversy? So this thing happened shortly after Skyla's release, and for those who don't know, there's an image that popped up of Twyla, and it sewed a photo, what appeared to be a photosoaped, a photosoaped Skyla, 
and it had a little like word bubble that claimed that it was that Twyla was the product of Prince Blue Blood and Twilight Sparkle, which is the oddest pairing I've ever heard of. I'm almost a hundred percent sure it's just a photoshopped image and therefore fake, but I had to mention it because this lives rent free in my mind when I think of her, and I don't know how how to stop that. It's just so funny to me. Thank you. So yeah. Before the video ends, I would like to discuss some debatable knockoffs and or maybe prototypes that exist in the Mile Pony line. And these are alicorn figures, all in the Celestia mold, of course, because what else would we use with all these, like half of these have all been Celestia molds, from questionable websites like Taobao or more commonly AliExpress, people have found alicorn versions of most of the main six. Except Fodder Sai, I couldn't find any images of her, so and if you can find one, I guess the also is made, but I couldn't find it. We also have the canon princesses in different designs, like So Accurate Nightmare Moon, Goth Celestia, Neon Pink Princess Cadence, as well, and Twilight, just Twilight before they made the tall Twilight. I guess it's very different. I'm very sure these are fakes that use some kind of variant of the official Hasbro molds, because these aren't the only ones in places like AliExpress. And I just think it's kind of interesting. I found quite a few images and even videos while researching this, so I thought I should include it because I find it interesting. And, well... I still remember when some people thought these were actual prototypes and thought that the whole main six, except Fluttersai for some reason, would become alicorns, but no. Unfortunately, that is not something that's going to happen. Anyway, um, um, this is sort of the end of the video. Closing thoughts, I guess. I just wanted to thank you for watching. I had a pretty okay time making this, however, I had a few issues. Like, I got sick, so I couldn't pre-record this super early. And then life got really stressful and scary. But I like to think things are in the up and up soon and my family will stop coughing loudly all the time. I guess all that aside, I hope you consider subscribing because I'm trying to get 400 subscribers by the end of 2024. Um, Bye, everypony.